subscribe now. EU Debates. It's a great pleasure, indeed an honour, to address you this evening to celebrate the 60th anniversary of one of the uh, earliest policies and one of the leading policies of the European Union. The CAP, the Common Agricultural Policy, became reality 60 years ago. Some countries came together to build a project of peace after a number of decades of conflict and to assist with the modernization of our farming to increase its uh, productivity, to ensure incomes for farmers, to stabilize the market, to ensure that there will be stable supplies and to uh, provide broad access to food. Those were the original goals of the CAP. And at the end of the, at the, end of the analysis, uh, those uh, objectives are still at the heart of the CAB today and current uh, events confirm this cruelly but there are other things now um, the importance of these goals affirmed 60 years ago are important today in the face of the crises we're going through, through but also so that we can speed up transition and respond to the challenges of the future and this is something we've been doing for 60 years we've made the common agricultural policy develop and evolve to take into account our changing uh, needs for example, with regard to the territory, with regard to town and country planning, to animal welfare, uh, to nutrition, and the CAP is also adapted to a number of enlargements, successive enlargements, so as to benefit all forms of production, all farms in the European Union, from, from tropical climates to Nordic climates, from a Mediterranean climate to almost uh, a polar climate beyond the 62nd uh, parallel. And with the creation of the WTO in 1975, this uh, became part of uh, in international trade as well. And over the years, the CAP has also benefited from increasingly strong commitment from the European Parliament. There was the Lisbon Treaty, there was co-decision. This was a case of uh, really strengthening the legitimacy of this policy. And reciprocity of standards, which is a priority of the current presidency, uh, uh, strengthens this resolve. So all of this means that for 60 years now we've been con con constantly building the CAP and it's made ever stronger by crises and by the work that we've had to put in because food uh, security remains a strategic priority. And when we tragically see that war has come back to Europe, uh, this makes it even stronger because we uh, all remember that conceiving agriculture as a, a tool of peace was at the heart of the goals of the founders of Europe. And that's why we reject any form of blackmail regarding uh, food security and using farming as a weapon in the context of the U war in Ukraine. It's a matter of building food sovereignty for Europe. And this project on the part of our founding fathers does make it possible to uh, ensure that Europe can feed her population by uh, having sufficient, uh, choosing to have sufficient production in Europe rather than depending upon uh, imports. And it is to this end to provide food to our uh, citizens at a, uh, an accessible sort of price and uh, to ensure adequate income for our farmers that it's with those goals in mind that we have increased our uh, productivity and uh, defended prices. I'm thinking of other forms of ecological transition through the Green Pact. This is at the key of our project for food sovereignty because otherwise our uh, former agriculture won't be able to produce sufficient quality and quantity. That is, if we don't uh, modify uh, our approach to soils, to biodiversity and to natural resources such as water, uh, food sovereignty will be resilient or will not be. Uh, I'm firmly persuaded that you can't dissociate the two and it's uh, up to the CEP to assist in these uh, changes and to help farmers to um, guarantee that this is a success. The CAP cannot do it alone, but it must be involved in these challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, the COVID crisis, the war in Ukraine, the mm, global warming, well, these all show that food sovereignty is, and food security is not something that's ever 
uh, safely guaranteed. It means we have to go on working to decrease the vulnerability of our value chains. And the CAP is essential if we are to ensure that we can produce food and feed our populations. And we have a specific responsibility in Europe as well to take part in uh, guaranteeing world food, world food uh, security. So th the founding fathers were not wrong and uh, it we continue to attach great importance, including budget importance, to the CAP. It is an expression of our solidarity and our uh, values in Europe. After 60 years thus, the CAP is more than ever a policy that is faithful to the spirit of the founders of Europe. It is adapted to its time, it is preparing for the future, and it's our responsibility to conserve what we have gained in the past in conjunction with our farmers. This is a powerful full symbol of uh, Europe's unity and of the values that we've been fighting for since our foundation. Thank you. I will now give the floor to Commissioner Wojciechowski.